Hey, I'm Aisha. You can now watch UCF TV 24 hours a day on Bright House Digital Channel 1. Coming up next on UCF Sports Night, it's time to play ball. We introduce you to UCF's new head baseball coach. And women's soccer has a new recruiting class coming in. We'll chat about it with head coach Amanda Cromwell. All that and plenty more next on UCF Sports Night. UCF Sports Night is brought to you by UCF TV. Today's show is also presented in part by Budweiser, the perfect balance of flavor and refreshment. Open up a world of taste. By the energy-saving conservation programs of Tico People's Gas. And by Syntex Homes, proud to support UCF Athletics. Hello and welcome once again to UCF Sports Night. I'm Jeff Sharon. Thank you so much for joining us. What a great week it was here at UCF as baseball season finally got underway. And for the first time in a long time, the baseball team took to the diamond with a new head coach. Terry Rooney made his debut along with the rest of his players in 2009 against Virginia Commonwealth this Friday. Let's take a look at what happened. The Terry Rooney era at UCF began on a cold Friday night, but it was the bats that provided the heat. 1,900 fans saw the Knights pound out 13 hits, the biggest from Brandon Romans, who jacked this two-run home run in the seventh down the left field line. It was initially ruled foul, but the umpires then reversed the call, and that was the cherry on top. Final score 10-2, Coach Rooney gets a victory in his first game as head coach. Really, I was so much proud of them. I was really proud of them because at the end of the game, they hung in there and they stay focused all the way throughout. I've told this team from the get-go, the things that matter to me the most are how we play the game, on and off the field. And the things that from a coaching standpoint that you're always looking for is at the end of the game, are we still hustling? Are we still going 100%? Is there still energy on the bench? And they did that. Earlier in the week, Abby McLean's clutch two-run double in the top of the eighth inning led the Knights to a 5-3 victory over the Jacksonville Dolphins. Ashley Cole picked up the win in the circle for UCF. On Friday, the Knights were back home for the Comfort Suites Invitational. Game one against Portland State, Abby McLean again had the hot hand. She picked up another three hits and scored a pair of runs. Mary Helen Tyler also added an RBI, and the Knights used a four-run second to take a 5-3 victory. Then in Game 2, the Abby McLean Show continued against Illinois Chicago. She went 3-for-4 four with three doubles, and she got some help from Natalie Land, who went 2-for-2 two two at the plate, and Hillary Barrow, who had three RBIs, as the Knights needed just six innings to knock off the Flames 9-1. The next day, the Knights faced a pair of tough tests, first against Boston College. Trailing 1-0 in the bottom of the sixth, the bats woke up. After Brienne Javier doubled, Hillary Barrow followed suit, smacking a double of her own down the right field line, scoring Javier to tie it. Then Mary Helen Tyler again whacks this one into the gap, scoring Barrow and giving the Knights a 2-1 lead. Ashley Cole finished out a complete game, final score 2-1, a thrilling comeback win for UCF. In the nightcap, Oklahoma State would beat the Knights 2-0, but the Knights still finished the tournament 3-1. Back over to the baseball complex on Saturday. The Knights' bats stayed hot against Virginia Commonwealth, especially that of Kiko Vasquez. Second inning, he blasts this pitch over the wall and left for his first home run of 2009. But he wasn't done. Next inning, his next at bat, he goes deep again, his second home run of the day. However, despite all that, it would not be enough as VCU got the win on a late home run, final score 10 to nine. Sunday, game three of the series and a big day for Shane Brown. He comes up with a career high, four hits and five runs batted in, including this home run to right in the fourth inning. Chris Duffy and Chad Hartman also had three RBIs each. And the Knights offense again propels them to victory over VCU, 12-6 the final in that one. The final game of the series with VCU was on Monday, but it was a successful opening weekend for new head coach Terry Rooney and the UCF baseball team. The men's tennis team got a victory in its first home match in a while. They knock off Louisiana Lafayette. 
four to three at the tennis complex. UCF took all its points in singles play with Tarek Ben Sultan winning in the number one slot. Men's basketball had just one game this week, but it was a tough one as they traveled out to Houston to face the Cougars. And it was a tight battle throughout. Jermaine Taylor led the way again with another 35-point outburst, his third straight 30-plus point performance. But it was not enough as Houston came out on top on their home floor, 77-72. to Women's basketball was also on the road this week. Out at UTEP, Emma Cannon put up 15 points and 17 rebounds, but the Miners took advantage of a fast start and held off the Knights by the final score of 61 to 49. Then it was off to the Big Easy to face Tulane, where Chelsea Wiley led all scorers with 21 points, but the Green Wave get the win. UCF is still 9 and 5 in Conference USA with just two regular season games left. And for more information on all UCF sports, all you have to do is visit UCFathletics.com, your home for UCF sports 24-7. Stick around, plenty more to come here on UCF Sports Night. When we get back, he's UCF's brand new baseball coach, and he's brought a brand new attitude to the Knights on the Diamond. We'll introduce you to Terry Rooney when UCF Sports Night returns. Fans join the men's basketball team as they take on Rice at UCF Arena this Wednesday. For more information, call the ticket office at 407 UCF 1000 or visit UCFAthletics.com. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. When Terry Rooney took the head baseball coaching job here at UCF early in 2008, he promised a brand new attitude for the Knights on the Diamond. Well, so far heading into 2009, he's delivered on that promise, and his players are finally getting the chance to put their new leader's lessons to the test as the regular season has finally begun. We get a closer look at Coach Terry Rooney in our Sports Night Spotlight. When I first met Coach Rooney, I just knew that he was a guy on a mission. He was energetic, he's confident, and he's a really good motivator. He was just a guy on a mission. The guy wanted to change his baseball program around, and he reached out to me, reached out to a lot of seniors, and he was just a guy on a mission with a lot of confidence. He just said that he's going to turn his baseball team around. He's going to implement a style of play, which is very high intensity, high intensity, high focus, you know, a lot of energy, and he demands a lot out of us and expects a lot. He just told me he was going to change it around, uh, implement a style of baseball that no other school has, just play hard, play with a lot of confidence. He, w he wanted us to be around the field, be around each other, and that's the style of play he was going to put in. Well, to me, that means, you know, going out 100 miles an hour, every inning, every play, every pitch, you know, every swing of the bat. It's nine innings full out, running past our positions, running sprinting off, on and off the field. It's a style that a, a lot of guys weren't used to, but has uh, accepted that role and fills, fills it. We're going to see a team that plays hard, nonstop, aggressive, uh, runs the bases hard, lays out. Um, you know, no matter if we're down five in the ninth inning, they're never going to give up. We wanted our guys to have a work ethic. Um, that was unparalleled to anybody in the country. And I think those guys have really accepted those roles, embraced those roles, and then also play with an edge, we call it. Play with confidence and know that they work harder than anybody else in the country. I'm having a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun out there. I mean, he just makes it fun even though it's really intense. I mean, you got to stay locked in at all times, but it's, it's a lot of fun because we know we're going to win. Oh, they've adapted tremendously. They've done a great job of playing hard. Um, the seniors have really uh, taken the younger guys underneath their wings and uh, shown them the way. He reached out to every every single uh, senior on the team and he reached out and he said, this is your team. He's like, I'm going to be there beside you leading the way, so I'm going to give you all the advice you need to carry this team and I'm going to put it just for you guys to have a successful season. Uh, I think a lot of guys jumped on board as me. He's been to Omaha. I mean, he knows what he's talking about, obviously. You know, he has a bunch of schools he's been to with a lot of credibility. And, uh, you know, I mean, Omaha, that's, that's our number one goal is to get to Omaha, and he's been there, so I'm sure, I know everybody's bought into it. It's just a lot of energy, high pace, a lot of confidence, a lot of emotion, 
It's just she's a self-driven guy that wants us to play with heart and a lot of dedication. You know, the last three years haven't been the best, but we don't dwell on that. We look to the future, and with Coach Rooney, I think we're going to have a very successful season. Coach Rooney has certainly changed things around here at UCF, and he joins us now for the first time on the show. Coach, how are you? Doing fantastic. Thanks for having me. Well, the season's getting ready to start up now. You have, uh, how have the players responded to your new leadership? So this, the players responded tremendously. I've been very fortunate. You walked into a situation here as a coaching staff where we had 13 seniors on our team. And from a new, brand new coaching staff to walk into that situation has been tremendous. We have unbelievable senior leadership on this team. Guys like Kiko Vasquez, Kyle Sweat, Justin Weiss, just to name a few. And I feel very fortunate to be able to walk in into an environment where they accepted us. These guys know that uh, our coaching staff has been to the highest level of college baseball. We've won at the highest level of college baseball. So they understand that we know what it takes. And they've been on board since the moment we got here. Tell me, what are some of the things that uh, you and the coaches have worked on with the team improving the most since we checked in with you back in the fall? Really, the, the kids have really responded in a great way since the fall when we got here. You know, in early September, our biggest goal was to implement a style of play. And that's what we really wanted to accomplish, is implement a style of play that's going to put the kids in position to be successful. We really didn't change kids mechanically very much in the fall. We did a little bit of that over the winter, and now we're in the spring. And now we're, when we've gotten this point in the spring, we're simply focusing on the things that kids can, can control. And what they can control is the way we play the game with a certain intensity, with a certain attitude, and those expectations allow us hopefully to win on a consistent basis. Season's now underway. How anxious were the players coming in to just get the season underway? They're excited. They're excited and they should be because I tell them all the time that these guys deserve success. They've worked tremendously hard ever since September when we took the job here and they've worked every single day. From my end and from our coaching staff's end, one of the main points of emphasis that we wanted to raise the expectation level here at UCF. When I accepted this job this past June, I haven't run away from that, and I'm not going to, and this coaching staff's not going to, and I don't want the players to either. We want this program to compete at the highest level of college baseball, and in order to do that, the kids have to understand it, they have to believe in it, and they have to want to do it. And if you believe you can be the best and you want to compete at the highest level, then every single day you're going to be prepared to play, and I feel like we're at that point right now. Last question for you. How anxious have you been to get into the season? Because I know that you've really been looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to be here right now. I feel very honored to be the head baseball coach here at UCF. We've got an unbelievable administration here led by Keith Tribble who is committed to making this baseball program one of the best in the country. I mean our baseball program in the last seven to eight years has been one of the top 30 baseball programs in the country as far as wins and now our job and the job of this coaching staff is to continue and enhance that reputation. Head coach Terry Rooney thank you so much we'll be checking in with you throughout the season. Thank you very much. Stick around coming up next here on UCF Sports Night. Time to talk a little soccer we're at the new recruiting class with women's soccer head coach Amanda Cromwell. That and plenty more when we return. Fans, come see the UCF women's basketball team's final two home games of the 2009 season for just $2. Check out the Knights as they face Memphis and UAB at UCF Arena. For more information, call 407-UCF-1000 or visit UCFAthletics.com. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. Time to talk a little soccer and bring in a new recruiting class. Head coach Amanda Cromwell joins us from the women's soccer team. How are you doing, coach? Very good, thank you. Tell us about these 10 new athletes you bring in, all of them uh, pretty highly touted. It's a very good class. Uh, Colby worked his tail off all over the country um, to, to watch these kids play uh, one, so it's huge. Um, but very talented class, and it's it, um, just a, a wide variety of players, different talents. Um, and it, the nice thing about this is we're reaching into different parts of the country. We haven't, you know, we haven't been in New Jersey lately. And uh, three kids from the PDA club, which is a very highly touted club. Um, we have Alex coming from Pennsylvania. Um, we have a, a girl from Finland, Tia, coming. Um, so, you know, that experience um, with all those kids, are, you know, high-level ODP, um, national team experience um, with our in-state kids. Um, you know, our tr transfer Kim Newsom. I mean, it's a, it's going to be a very talented class that's going to compete for time right away. How well did you fill the needs that you feel you had with the seniors who left? 
Very well. Um, you know, we didn't lose the numbers, but we're anticipating next year because that next year's senior class is very big. So we kind of have to fill in for those numbers. And um, so we have needs all over the field. Obviously, every year you, you know you want to get better all over the field. But um, I think we're, we're going to come in with some goal scorers, some very um, attacking-minded midfielders, very skillful, and some solid defenders that are going to you know give some people a run for a starting position. Spring going well so far. It is. We had our first spring game. We beat the University of Victoria 3-0. Uh, this weekend we play at Stetson, um, 7v7 tournament, so that'll be fun. Cool. And uh, last question for you, but not least, you've been named as an assistant coach for the U.S. national team. I know you worked with the under-20 team. You move up to the big team now. Tell us about that honor. It is a great honor. You know, last year we won the U-20 World Cup down in Chile, and Tony DeChico brought me in on his staff, so I was pleased and very honored to be a part of his staff. And Pia Santaga, I actually played with her in Sweden when I uh, played for Hammerby on a club team and uh, had a little history of uh, just, you know, playing with her. So she brought me in uh, for a camp to help her pick a team for a uh, uh, the next tournament in Portugal. Um, so I'll be in and out with that group. They they have, she has a plethora of assistants to choose from to, um, you know, bring into the mix. So just any time I get the call up, I'll definitely uh, show my face. <laughs> well, congratulations. What a great honor for you. Head coach Amanda Cromwell, UCF Women's Soccer. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. All right, stick around. Coming up next here on UCF Sports Night, we'll check in with our news and notes and also some plays of the week when we return. Fans, join the men's basketball team as they take on Rice at UCF Arena this Wednesday. For more information, call the ticket office at 407-UCF-1000 or visit ucfathletics.com. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. We'll get to our Sports Night Plays of the Week in a moment, but first, it's time to take a look at a little news and notes from the week in UCF Sports. Jermaine Taylor's trophy case back at home continues to fill up. He's won the Conference USA Player of the Week award for the fourth time this season and the sixth time in his career. This past week, he scored 35 in the thriller against Tulsa and followed that up by tying his career high of 38 against UTEP. He also cemented his name in UCF history, becoming the school's top all-time scorer at the Division I level. In men's golf news, Simon Ward also took home the Conference Player of the Week award. The junior Irishman finished tied for first overall in individual play at the season opening Gator Invitational in Gainesville last week. His effort also helped the Knights take third place in the team competition. It's the first time Simon's won the award. He joins two other Knights who won it in the fall, senior David Johnson and freshman Blaine Barber. Time now for our Sports Night Plays of the Week. Play number three, Jermaine Taylor racked up another 35 points against Houston. And here's the most spectacular two of it right here, his third straight 30-point game keeping the Knights in it against the Cougars. Play number two, Abby McLean's bat has been hot of late, but here it's her glove that gets her into this highlight. Watch the fantastic pick and throw in one motion from second base to get the runner at first. Watch it again as Abby showing the glove in the field. Nice play by Abby McLean. Play number one, though, is from baseball. Kiko Vasquez gets a two for the price of one. Check this out here in the second inning as he jacks this homer against Virginia Commonwealth in the second game of the series on Saturday. And then that wasn't enough. Next inning, he goes deep once again. His second home run of the day helping the Knights in Terry Rooney's first series as the new head coach at UCF. And those are your Sports Night Plays of the Week. Action takes place on campus nearly every day in the week ahead. Wednesday afternoon, the softball team kicks off the week with a double header. They take on Bethune-Cookman at 4 p.m., followed by Eastern Michigan right after that. And you can see the action live on UCFAthletics.com. Meanwhile, men's basketball returns home that night. They take on the Rice Owls at UCF Arena. Tip-off is set for 7 p.m., and the game is televised on Bright House Sports Network. Thursday action starts with women's tennis. They face Eastern Michigan at the tennis complex. Doubles gets underway at 2 p.m. 
Later that night, the women's basketball team has a home date with the Memphis Tigers. Tip is set for 7 p.m. and the game is televised on CBS College Sports and Bright House Sports Network. Friday on campus, softball returns to action on day one of the UCF Invitational. They take on the Syracuse Orange in game one at 4 p.m., followed by Tennessee State at 6. Then on day two on Saturday, the Knights take on Florida A&M at 4 p.m. and Maine at 6 p.m. You can catch all the Knights action live on UCFAthletics.com. Baseball kicks off its weekend series on Friday as Coach Rooney and the Knights travel up to Baton Rouge to play LSU. Game one of the series is at 8 p.m. on Friday night. That's followed by Saturday at 3 and Sunday at 2 p.m. A big weekend for track and field. They head out to Houston for the Conference USA Indoor Championships. Those take place on Friday and Saturday. Saturday also marks a big day for women's soccer. They play their alumni game at the soccer complex. Kickoff is at 1 p.m. Meanwhile, men's tennis takes to the courts at home as they welcome USF to the tennis complex. The action over there also gets underway at 1 p.m. And later that night, the men's basketball team hits the floor up in West Virginia as they take on the Thundering Herd of Marshall. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. and the game is live on AM740 The Game and UCFAthletics.com. Sunday is your final chance to see the women's basketball team at home before they head off to New Orleans for the conference tournament. They face UAB at 3 p.m. at UCF Arena, and that game is televised. And on Monday, women's tennis again takes center stage as they face North Carolina State at the tennis complex. First serve and doubles action is scheduled for 2 p.m. On the air on Monday night, check out the Kirk Sparrow Show, live from Smoky Bones in Waterford Lakes. Join Coach and the voice of the Knights, Mark Daniels, as they talk UCF hoops with you, the fans, from 6 to 7 p.m. on the home of the Knights AM740, the game. Tuesday, tune in to UCF Sports Today with Kirk Spira as Coach and Mark look back at the week with plenty of highlights and features. The show debuts at 4 p.m. on Sun Sports and also airs Wednesday and Friday on Bright House Sports Network and all week on UCF TV. And don't forget, you can catch UCF Sports Night right before Coach Spira, Tuesday at 3.30 on Sun Sports, Tuesdays and Thursdays on Bright House Sports Network and all week on UCF TV. Check your local listings. And for all the latest on all UCF sports, visit UCFAthletics.com, your home for UCF sports, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And as always, if you want to catch our episode one more time or see any of our archived episodes of UCF Sports Night, you can anytime you want. All you have to do is log on to www.ucf.tv, click on Original Programming, and click on UCF Sports Night. That is all for us for this week. For all of us here at UCF TV and UCF Athletics, I'm Jeff Sharon saying thank you so much for watching and go Knights! Hey, this is LT from 1011 WJRR. You're listening to the best sounds of area music. UCF Athletics, Access Magazine, and WJRR are proud to support local artists. You can find more great artists by going online at www.wjrr.com and also accessmag.com. And by listening to Native Noise each and every Sunday at 11 o'clock. UCF Sports Night has been brought to you by UCF TV. Today's show is also presented in part by... Bright House Networks. See how bright life can be. By Holler Classic, the official automotive group of the UCF Knights. And by Coca-Cola. Welcome to the Coke side of life.